What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. So we're doing a Mother's Day fishing trip. Captain Trav, we got croakers, we got Mullet Man bait co baits. And uh, we came out yesterday evening with Travis just for a little while and slammed them, reds and trout. So we're gonna all hop in the water. It's wet wading season, except for Travis, because he gets cold easy. Perfect size croakers, huh? Oh, yes, sir. So we got croakers, and I'm starting out with artificial. Got Miss Piggy on, three and a half inch. Miss Piggy. Okay. So I'm gonna hop in the water and uh, hopefully we catch a few fish. Dad's got a GoPro on, so he'll be catching all of mom's fish on camera. Me and Jeff are gonna go down to the next bar and check some stuff out, but I think they're gonna get into them. This is where we got into them good yesterday in this gut, so. Another one. He slammed it. Baby red. Throw it off. Huh? Just throw it off. Wee. Jeff's on. Told you it was a flounder. Red. Here, I got you. Big flounder. Fish on. I don't know what I got. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this might be a big trout. Stay on. Be a big trout. Good keeper. Dad's on. Nice one. I need the net. A little bigger than Dina's. I don't have a net. Big flounder. Nice one. Keeper. Nice one. Flounder pounder. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, I can, I can get it. It's a really big trout. Yeah. That is a stud. Get it in the net! Get it in the net! Yeah! That one, I got lucky. That's a big one. Another big yeah, one. Nice. Founder for Mother's Day. Yay! How big? Another keeper. Over and take a 
Another good day with little Cap Trav. Caught a bunch of fish. Got a cooler full, so we're gonna head in, clean them up, and uh, we'll be eating good tonight. You're not supposed to keep trout. But they're so tasty. Trout Sammies. I thought we were gonna eat good. Trout Sammy exceptions. That's why we kept trout, because we eat good around here. What is that? Oh, that's another trout. Oh, oh, look at that freaking doormat stuck to the bottom in there. Yep. So Travis is getting these uh, flounder right, and he's pressure washing the scales off so he can uh, clean them whole for my mom. All right, Travis is going to show you all how to clean a flounder hole with no bones. Uh, he pressure washed all the scales off, so. Got one side. Got the uh, using the old timer seven and a half inch blade. It's pretty sharp. Actually, it's super sharp. He had to dull it a little bit. I did. Had to drag it across the concrete. So there's your boneless whole flounder. Put all your crab or whatever you want, crab and rice, right there. Flip it over. Score the skin. Throw it on the oven. No meat left. That's a nice knife. Turtle bait. Travis, show them how flimsy that blade is. That's a, that's what I would consider a crappie knife. So let's see how it works out on a big old redfish. Like butter. Half shell or fillet? Uh, fillet. Works pretty dang good. Mm -hmm. That's money, dude. So I'm back home and it is just me at the house tonight. And I was just sitting there thinking, what should I do? What is a new, new thing that I can do? And what do I feel like eating tonight? And for some reason, I'm craving sushi. So I'm going to do a little poor man sushi recipe uh, that I'm just making up on the fly. I think it sounds delicious. I'm craving sushi, like I said. So uh, you don't need a lot. Cream cheese. I got a jalapeno. There's definitely a lot more stuff that I could do with this, but I don't have the ingredients. But got some seaweed chips. You can get these at pretty much any grocery store. And I got some sushi rice uh, cooking right there. So... Uh, and we have one trout fillet. I'm actually gonna cut that in half. This is a, a pretty big trout. So I'm gonna cut a piece off of that, let this rice cook up, and we'll start making our sushi dinner, our poor man's sushi dinner. We got our sushi rice is done. I'm just trying to think of the best way to go about doing this. So I got some green onion cut up, got a little jalapeno slices. I wish I had some cucumber and I wish I had some avocado, but I don't. So I'm just gonna cut this. Uh, trout fillet in the really thin slices. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You end up with a worm living in your stomach. I'm thinking that's uh that's all I got to worry about here. But um, so let's open these. I eat these seaweed chips as just like a bag of chips. They're delicious, but 
I added a few more ingredients. Now we got soy sauce and some wasabi. Um, but yeah, I love these. They're good just to eat like chips if you if you're into sushi, which my whole family is in love with sushi. Angel hates that though. Uh, when we go out to eat, she gets rice paper for her on her sushi. So what I'm thinking here, you just make you a little sushi roll. So we'll take some sushi rice, just like that. Lay us a piece of trout in there, a little onion maybe. A little jalapeno and then just roll it on up like that into a little piece of sushi dip it in the soy sauce hopefully I'm not too zoomed in bon appetit sorry if I was blurry on that but I'm not kidding you guys that's that's uh, the cheapest, best sushi I've ever had. That is, I mean, it tastes like I'm at a sushi restaurant. To be honest with you, it tastes like an awesome little piece of sushi. Let's do it one more time to double check. Just roll it up into a little miniature sushi roll. Get some soy sauce on there. Hmm. That's awesome. I'm giving that. That's my new. Oh, I didn't even put cream cheese on it. So I did all that without putting a little slab of cream cheese. Let's try it with the cream cheese. Can't rate it yet. A little wasabi on there too. Onion, jalapeno. We'll call this the Texas roll. I don't like California rolls. Cream cheese. That's a 10. Maybe the only legit 10 I've ever had on the channel, but that is, I'm in love with sushi. And that right there is amazing. I'm sure, I mean, you could get a lot more fancy with this and get like legit sushi roll and stuff. And like Travis, he does, they do sushi parties. They do sushi parties at his house and Nikki, his uh, fiance, she'll roll a bunch of, she'll make a bunch of sushi rolls and have friends over. So maybe I need to start doing that. But this right here is a 10 deliciousness. Keep losing my jalapenos. Mm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Mom, Angel, Grandma, Nana. Um, thank you for everything y'all do. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Go visit moltman.net, shirts, hats, hoodie spices, and Moltman Bait Baits. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.